I want to show you my new Illumina Profile Workbench, why and how I designed it, and why I think it's an awesome alternative if you are thinking about building a similar workbench for your own needs. Hi, my name is Bill and Choi, and ever since I was little, I have always loved to tinker with gadgets to see how they work. I'm currently based out of Hong Kong, and although not an engineer by training, I'm a DIYer at heart. The kind of wood that most DIY YouTubers use to build their workbenches is really hard to find in Hong Kong and most of what's available is pretty expensive. Looking for alternatives, I came across the Illumina Profile. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Illumina Profile, it's the stuff they use to build 3D printers and DIY CNC machines. It's manufactured to be extremely strong, light, straight, and easy to assemble. I just want to mention, if you have any questions or comments about the workbench, send me a message. I'm always happy to discuss in more detail. I have a 3 foot by 7 foot nook in the back of my apartment that I was using for my beer brewing. It's a bit cozy, but it's perfect for a work area, especially when I need to use power tools, and also when I want some peace and quiet. As I mentioned before, the workbench is made using Illumina Profile. Illumina Profile quickly became the easy choice because of its strength, its versatility in attaching things to it, as well as being able to use the workbench as a work table, a beer brewing bench, as well as an electronics table. I started out with wanting a material that would be able to hold up my beer brewing pots and withstand the high temperatures when I'm brewing. I can brew up to 10 gallons of beer at one time, that's roughly 40 liters or 120 bottles. Normally during brewing, all three pots could be holding between 40 to 60 liters of water, so that's anywhere between 120 to 180 kilos of liquid, plus another 25 kilos of grains, plus another 30 to 40 kilos of equipment. All in all, that's roughly 200 to 250 kilos of weight that the workbench would have to withstand while brewing beer. This is on top of the roughly 110 kilos that the workbench already weighs. As I also intend to use this table for woodworking projects, it also must withstand constant hammering, drilling, as well as to be chemically resistant to whatever glues, epoxies, and solvents I throw at it. And on top of all this, the table must be able to maintain square in all connection points throughout the bench. The aluminum profile comes in many shapes and sizes, but the more common sizes are 20-20 or 20 mm by 20 mm, 40-40 and the less common 80-80 or 80 mm by 80 mm. There are other sizes, but I decided to stick with these three for simplicity. I began by sketching out the table using SketchUp. The great thing about SketchUp are the models that other users have created in the 3D warehouse. This made designing the table so much easier for a new user like myself. A big thanks goes out to everyone who creates models for SketchUp. Many of you don't get the recognition you deserve, but just know that I appreciate what you all do. By far the biggest benefit of using SketchUp is that I can try out using different sizes and designs to see what fits best, and what would be a disaster waiting to happen. For example, I ended up using a mixture of 8080, 4040, and 2020 aluminum profile. I tried with using only 4040 and 2020, but realized that given the strength requirements, as well as the size of the table, it would end up sagging over time. I decided on a design where all the main supports were 8080 profile, all secondary and supporting pieces were 4040, and I would use 2020 in a torsion box design to help strengthen the plywood tabletops and to help maintain flatness over time. The plywood tabletops are meant to be easily detachable. This is useful for when I brew beer as I don't have to worry about damaging the plywood as I move my pots around. I also intend to incorporate a woodworking router into a section of the table someday. As a workbench will be up against three walls, I decided that the back of the workbench should be taller so that I can hang stuff above the tabletop. This will be useful for hanging lights, tools, and even cameras for recording my projects. A side note about T-Track, it's a track system that allows for connecting accessories in a secure way, but also being easy to attach, reposition, and detach nuts and screws. There are a total of 63 pieces of aluminum profile needed to build my workbench, not including the tabletops or, or any of the screws and fasteners. I bought all the aluminum profile and most of the fasteners online at AliExpress. As is the case for projects like this, you end up buying too many unnecessary screws of one size, and too few of a screw you actually need. Screws are cheap, time is not. Get more screws of different sizes from the beginning so you don't have to wait for a second delivery. The only problem that I've come across is that the aluminum profile available in Hong Kong and China is all metric 
and yet a lot of items that I would like to attach still use the Imperial screw sizes. For example, most tripods have either quarter inch, three eighths inch, or five eighth inch holes for attaching cameras and lights, etc. I toyed with the idea of using quarter inch to M6 adapter screws, but in the end it was just easier and cheaper to use hex bolts upside down inside the T-Track. For screws smaller than quarter inch, I'll need to also use a washer to hold it in place. I am hoping to do some woodworking in the future, and one of the more important requirements is to ensure that the table is the right height to work on while standing. This worked out to be roughly 85 to 86 centimeters high for my height. I also found heavy duty casters, which can support up to one metric ton in weight. The workbench is still a work in progress. I still need to attach my brewing pumps as well as more lighting. I would also like to attach a CNC router or a 3D printer onto the table someday. The idea is that I can easily attach and detach it from the 8080 support structure. Still quite new here to what's possible in YouTube land. Not even quite sure what kind of videos I'll end up making. Hit the subscribe button if you like these videos and give me motivation to continue making more and better videos moving forward. Thanks for watching.